Well, it's Greta. It's Greta. All respect and honor and gratitude and praise to Louisa May Alcott. And yet, this is Greta's version. This is Greta's being and spirit animal. And it was the, I would do anything she wanted, but I said to her, well, as we started, uh, whatever, this thing started coming together. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to see you. And uh, that, uh, you know, I said, why this? Because it's been done before. And I knew she'd have a good reason. There doesn't even need to be a reason. It's because she wanted to, and she's that good, basically. And... Uh, and there's a whole other host of reason. A lot of these lessons, unfortunately, still need to be learned in 2019 as it relates to gender roles, but also just to artistic roles and what we get to do as a human and what careers we get to pursue. And then secondarily, I love, I, you know, I, I really don't read reviews, but in talking to people, uh, I love that we, like, the way people are talking about it, it's not like, no, but compared to the other things, it's like, that's not even irrelevant now because I love the Gillian Armstrong version, but it's like, this is its own thing. I think they're just very authentic. They're very real. As you can see, we all get on incredibly well. And that was just a very natural uh, dynamic for us to all have on and off screen. Um, and I think it really shows. And, you know, I think with this adaption of, of the book, we get to see the girls when they're older as well and sort of watch them, um, you know, reflect on who they were as children and, and think about how that shapes them as as adults so um, yeah it's just interesting to get a, a more sort of well-rounded um, look at all of the women and the men in this story. It's hard because I don't want to give anything away but the ending for the story is so beautiful I think it will give readers and uh, you know, moviegoers, the chance to kind of see the story in a new light, which is so beautiful. Um, it's very funny. Um, I think Greta is a master comedian, and the story is warm. And uh, I think it's also people will be shocked how quick the pace of it is. It's really dynamic. It does not feel slow. It does not feel period dramery. It feels very modern and. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously proud of it. This movie is the most modern movie I've seen in years. It's about what it is to be an artist. It's about honoring ambition. It's about honoring your own voice. It's about women and money. It's about family and it's raw and it's vulnerable and it's loud and it's wild and there is zero about it that is a period story. It is all about revolution. And Joe March and the story of Louisa May Alcott and her family are as modern as any tale we were ever given in American literature. We just didn't know that. I think until Greta Gerwig kind of reopened what Louisa was giving us all those years ago. So I, I find it like punk rock. It's amazing. And I can't wait for everybody to get to see it. For me, this book has been the book I've loved my whole life. Uh, these characters felt like my sisters, my family, and it's been in my heart for a very long time. And when I revisited it, I thought it was so fresh and so modern and so pressing. And I just, in my heart, I just drew this, drew this straight line from what Louisa May Alcott did to what I am able to do. And I wanted to make something that inspired the next generation of women to be writers, directors, singers, thinkers, doers. To shoot the movie with so many powerful women, it was a, it was a delightful moment. Because I could, I, I, could, I could feel that Greta Gerwig is so connected to the book, and she has something to say, um, um, making that film, especially through, the, through the, um, the life of Jo March, you know? And Jo March is super important for her, and I think she, in, in a way, she, she thinks that Joe was her during the, the, the film. And that powerful young woman who, who wants to be a writer against everyone, and, and she's trying to be a writer and she's gonna succeed, you know, and that's, that's the joy of the film. Mr. Lawrence is a nice little part, so I wasn't there all the time, but walking into the atmosphere, um, everybody was in a great, great, really great place, you know, and... Um, 
I found myself really impressed on my time off watching these young talents and what they had to offer. And they're so prepared and so passionate. It was, um, it was uh, very rewarding to be a part of it. I think this is an all-person film. I think one of the things that we've been discussing most recently is this is not just for women, this is for men too. We have some amazing actors in this film who display and, and show a, a different side of men that, that we probably won't expect in this kind of film. So um, it's been wonderful to be with those boys and girls during the making and obviously during the press as well. And I think this is a film for, for all. I think that classic stories can be remade because they're always relevant. And I think that it was really Greta Gerwig's take on the material that made it something that seemed urgent and essential because she said it was a movie about women and independence and money and that women have always been traditionally poor and that's why there are so few women artists. <laughs> That's the, Gre the, the filter of Greta, the magic touch. I think you know this is a timeless piece. It has incredibly modern and progressive terms, uh, themes in it throughout. My character John Brooke has this wonderful line uh, about you know um, American women uh, are respected for, for supporting themselves and following their dreams and working. You know the, the, the value of work. And he's talking about Meg as a governess, and they have the resources to do so. So you know, for me. Uh, Playing a role, a man who was in the 1963, whichever year it was, you know, saying those kind of uh, those words was a wonderful thing. Um, a testament to how modern it was, you know, how modern Louisa May Alcott was. I think I'm I'm just mostly excited to see this new re reiteration, to see, uh, you know, not just young women but also men to see uh, these four sisters reimagined again, and. Um, they're, they're really vibrant characters, and I feel like uh, Greta revitalizes the reiteration in a way. Greta Gerwig's what makes it different. She's got her own secret recipe for, I think for anything, but especially for little women. I mean, when she first told me she was doing this, I thought, well, that's a bad idea. We don't really need another one of those, but it's such a great adaptation, such a great original contemporary take on a story we know really well and she's just great she's a super talented woman and uh, you really feel the the love and care that's gone into this movie what was cool here was to see like whoa like Emma Watson and uh, Meryl Streep these are huge stars and it was cool I felt like whoa I got to see this thing flower that's the coolest part about being in show business at a young age or at least getting to have a good time doing it or be fortunate enough to work is uh, these things are flowering in front of me, you know, and um, so cool. It gives me hope. This is the thing is that I think so many depictions of like the past have been quite stale and stiff. And I think when, you know, when you think about it, it's probably because everyone sort of focuses on portraiture and, you know, paintings and, and sort of posed images essentially and not very like naturalistic more relaxed stuff and so uh, Greta obviously didn't want to do that because she's a great director and she's got good taste and um, she looked at uh, the work of like Winslow Homer and photographers from the time that just depicted uh, men and women as more relaxed and, and I think that in itself just made it more current just the style of it did. I think that Every single, what's so beautiful is that every single one of the sisters someone can relate to on their path or their journey or, you know, whether it's, there's just a character in there for everyone that resonates and it's, um, I love that about it. It's incredible. It's a dream come true. You know, you wish your whole life that uh, you work with family and that you create another family. And I, you know, have had the privilege of that uh, in my life only a few times, but this was remarkable. We literally all moved to Massachusetts in September of last year and spent till Christmas together. And um, it was and is a continued amazing dream. I'm proud of all of these actors. <laughs> I love them so much and I'm so honored that they all came to be in my film and I'm, I'm so proud of the work that they, that they did. Especially with the actors, because the, the, all the, the all the actresses are super young, and the, you know every interpretation adds something. And um, I, I also heard about I mean I read the script, but I also heard that Greta manipulates a little bit the flashback and the 
and the story with the film. So she, I think she she made some new surprises for the audience who knew already other adaptations of um, Little Women. So I think they're not going to be disappointed at all because there's a lot of inventions in the film. The interpretation is um, that Greta does play with time. She goes back and forth doing the girls from, from the adult to um, the girls being much younger and um, touching, on, touching on the important stories. It's not, it's not linear. I think people are especially ready in this version to see these girls thrive and love and, and hate and, and uh, be real human sisters together. I think also this version has given all of the characters to have a, a real storyline and a real reason and um, a real conversation around them, specifically with, you know, for example, my character. I don't think people have seen an Amy quite like this one before, and that's down to Greta. Um, she has drive and she has ambition and she's creative um, and I think that's that's never something that we've been allowed to learn and love about her before so I hope people enjoy it as, as much as we have making it. I think anything which is timeless it still if it's period needs to be seen through a filter uh, which makes it relevant and my gosh Greta Gerwig is the one to do that you know she's she gives it such a unique vitality and energy and youth um, she was incredibly reverent and honored the period and equally irreverent and filled it with anachronism and filled it with uh, her own stamp um, it was wonderful we, we, we had this dialect guidance and it, we, it wasn't really about the sounds it was more about what Greta Gerwig what Greta Gerwig movie sounds like and it was all about just giving it rhythm giving it life so yeah she's 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 the one it's one of those films that has everything that you, you want in a film. It's, uh, Greta's created an epic, you know, and there's, there is romance and um, there is the sacredness of sisterhood and I think that's the most important thing, at least for me, that I get out of the film and it's really nice to see, uh, for once, not men who are broken and, and uh, uh, men who, who have vices, but men who support these women on their journey. A lot of it's on the page. I mean, again, she'd done a lot of it in the screenplay, but she also cast the movie really well, and she also fosters an environment on the set which is uh, just very warm and very easy to work, and I, uh, she's great. I, I'll do anything Greta tells me to do. She's, she's the best. This is not only uplifting, uh, not in a facetious or empty way, but, like, just important. It needs to be seen. It's about a person's sort of pursuit for um, themselves really and who they are in the world and their place in the world and sometimes that sort of takes form in work and for others it takes form in, in the person that they find themselves falling in love with. So, um, you know, when Greta made this and when she pitched it to Sony she said that this movie is about money and art and that's what we really wanted to focus on more than anything. So that in itself makes it really fresh, I think. It's kind of across the board what's beautiful about the story is that my character Meg is really the foil to Joe's story who knows she wants to walk a very independent path and Meg is the romantic in the story. She falls head over heel in love, she wants to be married, she wants children, she wants to build a home and that's her choice and it's, it's so wonderful that you kind of see all of these different ways to live your life and a celebration of all of the different ways and all the different choices. The most beautiful conversation I just had with an amazing playwright who lives here in New York. He said, Little Women's my favorite movie of the year. I didn't grow up with siblings. I didn't grow up with sisters. But I had a struggle to know and connect with my father. And the film is about boys learning to love their father and have their own identity. It's a movie for all of us. And it really is. It is a film about all the connections of what it means to be family in all its mess and all its beauty. It's really amazing. I hope they feel inspired and I hope that they feel warm inside, like that feeling when you want to crawl inside a movie and live inside of it. I hope that they feel like that. I hope that they feel like hugged. I think the only way to create a family as, as close-knit as you see on, on screen is to, to kind of be there off camera as well. We all lived close by one another and we all uh, 
looked after one another and did dinners and tea parties and all of that, and it was a, a very safe way to make a film. The magnificent actors. The magnificent actors. There's nothing like them. Greta was able to assemble an incredible cast. I think it's really exciting. It is a master class. It felt like that every day making the film. I love all of those girls so dearly and, and it's just been such a pleasure to work with everybody and also reunite with them. It's been a year since I've seen them so it's, there's been a lot of giggles, a lot of just like climbing on top of each other. We can't get enough of each other. We have some repeat relationships from Lady Bird. I got a chance to play with Sarah Sher again who played my daughter in Lady Bird and now uh, I play uh, kind of the, the gatekeeper to uh, a world that she's trying to get into. And it, it was just great fun to get on the set with Sarah again and because we had such a great time making Lady Bird together. So, uh, uh, so those repeated relationships really start to pay off in a lot of ways. I think it's kind of the sort of thing that I would take my 12-year-old sister to see and I would take my dad and I would take my mom and I would take my cousins and my grandma and it's Every, everyone's going to enjoy it. it it's, it's genuinely funny, it's genuinely warm, uh, it's insanely Christmassy. Um, it's, it's a classic. I mean, it's a classic. It's, it's a classic for us. So there's so many themes in the book that just felt like right out loud, like it's about women and ambition and money and art and the intersection between all of it. And it's, it's something that I feel like you know, we're always walking with our younger selves and answering to the girl who was brave and the girl who wanted to be big and ambitious. And I thought this is the way to tell this story and this is the message to bring forward is, is girls who, through themselves, change the world. To make a story that was about Little Women and that was about Louisa May Alcott and to capture the meta quality that was already in the book because Joan was writing a story about writing a story about her family and then Greta was able to capture that as a film and I think that's really exciting.